Hi guys, Farhan Tipio and welcome back to the Indulge Gadget Show. Leading producers began to release Android smart TV models, continuously updating them with greater features and technology. Due to the simplicity of use, these televisions had a similar rapid growth in popularity as Android smartphones. This has been made possible by a number of factors making Android TVs ideal for every home. So for today's review, we have got the 55-inch Westinghouse Android TV. Westinghouse has given us an Android TV that's under just 30,000, making it affordable for almost every household. And I expected this price to match at least that of a 37 or a 40 inch TV, but these guys have given us a 55 inch TV. So let's get started with the review and by the end you will know the specs of the TV as well as the pros and cons and you can decide if this TV fits your needs or not. So before we get to the unboxing, you can see some of the features printed on the box itself. That states it's a 4K TV, HDR10, 6000 plus apps and games, 40 watt sound output, inbuilt Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Now for the contents in the box, we get to see two metal base stands if you want to place your TV on a flat horizontal surface, one wall mount as well if you want to put the TV on the wall along with some screws. You also get a user manual and a warranty card. For the TV accessories, we get a pair of batteries, one remote control, a power cord for the TV and an AV converting cable. Now, when we come to the build quality of the TV, I can say it's pretty well built and solid. In the front, you can see that the bezels are very thin just for the price range we're getting it at. I expected them to at least have 1.5 inches of thickness, but for once, I'm so glad I was wrong. You can see the logo of the Westinghouse in the front as well. The back of the TV also has a metal finish to it. We can see an AV port, one antenna port, two USB ports, three HDI ports, a digital audio port and an Ethernet port. The stands given here are also made of metal and it does hold the TV well. After all, we have to screw the stands in. Overall, the build quality as well as the design I would say are very premium. I would have loved to see a little more thinner TV but for the price range of 30,000, I can say this is excellent. Now, speaking of the performance of the TV, Firstly, it's an Android TV and it runs on Android 10. The processor here in this is the ARM53 Cortex A53 that is an octa-core processor. We get 2 GB of RAM and 8 GB of available storage. While scrolling through the home screen, I didn't notice any lag and it was surprisingly fluid. I mean, at home I have a 45-inch Sony Smart TV and that also isn't as fluid as this. I'm sorry Sony. Like I've mentioned before, we get Wi-Fi inbuilt in the TV along with Bluetooth as well. So you can connect to your internet as well as any Bluetooth devices and start using it. Now coming to the main part of the review is the picture quality of the TV, which in my view is very nice and satisfying. The 4K display is sharp even though it's just an LED display. And with HDR10 display, your shows that are available on any OTT platforms like Netflix that support HDR makes the viewing experience richer. The contrast ratio is also very good here, that is 5000 is to 1, where the black color looks really dark. In short, I have no complaints about the color contrast on this TV unit. The brightness levels here are also very good and even though there was sunlight entering my room, I could see the videos on the TV properly. Here, we also get options to change the picture mode, that is to standard mode, movie mode, sports mode. You can choose it to whichever you prefer. Personally, after using this TV for streaming movies on Netflix, Hotstar and videos on YouTube, I was actually surprised with the output I was getting from this TV for this price range. Before I get to the final conclusion, let me just talk to you about the sound output. Here, we get to see 40 watt speakers on this unit and after using it, I can say that I wouldn't need a sound speaker to increase the volume at all since the TV speakers do a very good job and they have great clarity to them. We also get to see some predefined sound modes that you can check out. We don't get Dolby Audio here, but still, the sound performance was really good, just as the video performance. Now, coming to my final conclusion, guys, this 4K Android TV just blew my mind with all the polished features it delivered for such a low price range. The pros started off with me as soon as I got the TV. It was a very easy setup compared to the other previous processors that I've seen in other Android TVs. This one just immediately came to the home screen with little or no setup, you can say. The smooth UI of the TV, the vibrant colors that are shown in the videos and the overall good picture quality was just truly satisfying pros for me. I was completely happy with no complaints at all and there are 
no cons that I could spot. So if you are in the market looking for a big TV with a smaller price tag and that does not dip in performance because of the low price range, then you should definitely check out the 55 inch Quantum series from Westinghouse. That comes just for the price of 2799. So that's it for my review guys. I hope I could answer all your questions in the video. And if I didn't, please feel free to ask away in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to you. See you in the next one.